Appreciate it. Also making a buzz this afternoon. I want you to take a look at this guy. Can you see him? You're about to. <laughs> you can't see him now, but you will. Yeah, here he is. Imagine it. Imagine it. There he goes. Okay, he's putting on his shoes. And then he's about to steal a $6,500 Rolex from a plastic bin in an airport security checkpoint. This all happening in Florida. A woman accidentally left it behind as she went through the scanner. Surveillance video shows the thief eyeing the watch on the way to collect his belongings. And after he stepped away to tie his shoes, instead of notifying TSA, you just saw it. He looked around, snatched the watch, and then took off, put it in his backpack. Well, there's now a $1,000 reward out for this guy's arrest. And it's clearly, I think this is some good video, as clearly as you can see his face, someone out there knows who this guy is. Our question for you, if you recognize that thief as a family member or maybe a friend, what would you do? Would you turn him in? All right, Adam, what would you do? A friend, a family member. First question is, is there a reward? No, it's a $1,000 reward, $1, reward for this. But I would. I mean, that's just, that's, that's, that's immature. That, that's, that's just mean to steal somebody else's property, especially at a checkpoint like that. That's a vulnerable situation to go through. You're mm -hmm. having to strip off your shoes, your belts, uh, jewelry, to put it in those boxes. You trust that the people around you who are doing the same thing as you aren't, are, are going to be honest. And if they find something yours, mm -hmm. they'll return it or they'll, they'll let you know. Obviously, in the video, you saw him looking around. He, he was looking he forward. He knew he was doing something yeah. wrong. And he... he he kind of looked and spied on it to mm -hmm. see that it was still there. Um, but then looked, looked uh, in front of him, seeing that there wasn't anybody coming back for it. And he took it and walked away. You know, at the very least, if you didn't flat out turn in this guy, I would at least confront him and say, mm -hmm. I know it's you. I know you have that watch. If you don't return it with a note saying, you know, I got it at this location and we need to get back to the owner, yeah. I'm turning you in. All right. He's not the brightest bulb in the box. Hello. It is an airport. Yes. There's cameras everywhere. He has to know that there he's being watched. There's surveillance video all over airports. At security checkpoints, you know, say what you will about the TSA, security checkpoints are probably the safest place that you can be. Yeah. So you got to think that there will be cameras around you, people watching. If anything, just random people around you seeing what you're doing, obviously knowing that that's not yours. Yeah, he's looking there. That's what you were talking mm. about, Adam. Yeah. Maybe he, maybe he's going to say, well, maybe she's on my flight. I'll return it to her when I get on the plane. Keep your fingers yeah. crossed, hoping that the goodwill of people Well, is hopefully, that. yeah, that's true. We, we, we have to hope maybe he does know I mean, the, the, the video, sh sh the, the timeline of it from, yeah. you know, before he picked it up, when he picked it up, afterwards, there is no way that someone is not going to see this because it is viral now. Yes. Yeah. There's no way someone is not going to recognize this And guy. the owner of the watch, Gloria, was her mm -hmm. name. She went to police, and police do have a, you know, a warrant out for this guy let's yeah. get this let's get this watch back and he committed a crime in the age of YouTube and Twitter and Facebook that he's got to know that that's gonna go out there quick mm -hmm. yeah. and he doesn't look like he wouldn't use it he looks young enough to be using yeah. using those means all right here's what you guys are saying on Facebook Daniel Eric Palmer writes he could be my son would still turn mm -hmm. him in he is nothing but a common thief he didn't hesitate nor look around for the rightful owner Bradley Cisco on Facebook writes, honestly, I probably wouldn't turn them in. I would, however, never invite them over to my house or spend any more time with them and would let them know why. Gwyn D. Bear says, yes, I would turn them in, plus make them give the watch back. And Jerry says, that's a pretty good picture of the thief. I hope someone turns the loser into the police. I bet you it's a matter of days. Yeah, he might turn himself in. It's all over. Everybody's After he sees been, it on Yeah, here. everybody's yeah, in the area. GMA had it this morning. Good morning, America. So he's, he's probably feeling rough right now. Hopefully. Yeah. Mike.